Today we're making risotto ai frutti di mare, or seafood risotto, a classic um, Italian dish. We eat it frequently on the beaches in the restaurants of Emilia Romagna in Milano Marittimo on the coast. And ever since I moved away, I always dreamed of having those same flavors, eating that same dish, which was impossible in the restaurants where I live, which is impossible. And so I decided to uh, learn how to do it and do it for myself at home. And uh, the flavor came out exact. So here it is. So for the risotto, you're gonna need two cups of risotto, one whole onion, white wine, seafood stock, a little bit of seafood stock or, or water. For the seafood stew, you're gonna need four cloves of garlic, white wine, strained tomatoes. For the seafood itself, we used octopus, clams, scallops, calamari tubes and tentacles, and shrimp. Here we go. So for the seafood, I'm gonna be using an uh, octopus. This is a um, piece of octopus, uh, golf shrimp. Then we're gonna have some clams. Usually I use mussels, but couldn't find any mussels. Then scallops, scallops, um, squid, tubes and tentacles. That's gonna, that's gonna be the uh, seafood risotto, the ingredients for that. To boil octopus, I'm just gonna take a, um, I'm gonna salt water. And we're gonna take the octopus. And uh, dip it in there. Like this. Curls up a little bit, see that? Since this is just a tentacle of the octopus, it's gonna take about 20 minutes. Usually it takes a lot longer. It's like, it depends on how many kilos, or how many pounds the octopus is. So the bigger, the more octopus, the longer you have to cook it for. So in this case, this is just a tentacle. So it's gonna be about 20 minutes. So now that we have the octopus going, we're gonna start with the broth. And then we're gonna start with the risotto. Three, we're gonna use four, four cloves of garlic. Okay, I'm gonna slice those. So we're gonna use, for the base, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Like that. Garlic cooks pretty fast, so you have to watch that pretty closely. So we have the garlic going, and then we add the uh, seafood. Elijah, tell everybody what we what we have for seafood. Have squid, fish, shrimp, scallops, and no, and clams. Clams, yay! And, and octopus. And octopus. Good job. And no meatballs, okay, guys. Julian. Alright, Cut into beautiful little into rings. One, zero, beep, 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 beep. Alright, guys. Right. And the octopus is ready, guys. Um, we add the shrimp. We're gonna add the food. And tentacles. So right now we have our delicious seafood up in the pot. Stir it all like this. Yummy, yummy, guys, for my tummy. Right, everybody? Now we get the octopus out of the wall. Get this guy out. Oh. Thank you. Good job. 
Pramenie. So uh, these are the strained tomatoes that we use. There's no substitution. Organic strained tomatoes. No um, added stuff to it, right? You want plain. Meanwhile, while that's going, we're gonna cut our octopus. <laughs> cut these guys into, into little, uh, into beautiful little chunks. 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 Who wants to taste an Trump. octopus? Me. Chop. Well, we got a fire going over here. We're gonna add our white wine to this thing here. We're gonna add add like a glass, like a half a glass of uh, white wine. In uh, in this iron skillet, we're going to cook our scallops. The scallops. I add salt. Octopus. Octopus. Here, you want to eat it? Yes. Eat it. All right, Julian, watch out! It's gonna. Oh, it's gonna be it's jumping all over the place. Get out of the chair. Jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like this. Uh, we gotta sear our delicious. Ash is so beautiful. You don't like the fire. That actually is not good. It burned it. It burned it. It burned the bomb So now we're searing the scallops because the scallops over there in that pot are gonna be put added to the stew separately. Here, this is done. Very so these are our scallops. We just kind of like flashed, um, fried them, and, and then we're gonna add them to the stew. With the stew, you add, we're eating these, the octopus. Wait, do you like to, um, actually eat salt? Is it like that? Salt. And our strained tomatoes. Why well, is actually eating raw octopus? I cooked it. Oh. That was. So, how much did we use? Um, almost the whole thing. So guys, what do you think so far? Does that look good or what? Uh, yeah. Elijah? Hmm? That look good or what? Good. I can't chew it. Okay. Spoon out. What do you want? He's gonna add the onions in, uh, into the oil. You want me to do it? <laughs> you gotta trust your daddy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna caramelize the onions. All right, we put a lid on here. The fire's on low. We're gonna want all the liquid to evaporate from there. So just, uh, we're gonna put the lid on there, and then we got the onions caramelizing in this pot over here. Okay, there's the onions. We're gonna add two cups of uh, risotto. In here? Into the, the rice. Yeah, add it. In, no, 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 into this, the onion. Just dump it all in there. Cups. Pour it all in there. There you go. Slowly. That's too slow. We're gonna toast the rice for a minute or so. We're toasting the rice. It kind of re it releases a lot of um, aromas. Okay. Now we're gonna add, the fire is all high, and we're gonna add the white wine. Thank you. 
go. Once the wine evaporates, we're gonna add what we have, um, our stock, which is what we made with the, the cooking of the octopus. If you don't have it, just use water. And now we're gonna add our stock for the first um, for, for cooking procedure. Big bear, 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 See how it is? This risotto is pretty much halfway finished. So it's still uh, reducing, see? It's not all the way cooked. And the last procedure would be to add the fish stew that I made over here. I'm gonna add that into there. And in the scallops, now we're going to add into our stew. And this is all still in very, very low fire. Yeah. Add it, yeah. Oh. And now we're going to take our stew from here and we're going to add it to here. This is dry, you see it? Ready for the liquid. The final stage of preparation. This is the finished product, it's a beautiful risotto. Ai frutti di mare. With the seafood that I was, usually could put mussels in there too, but I didn't find any mussels. All right, and so we're gonna taste this uh, veredicchio, the Castel di, uh, di Yezi. It's a um, classical superior, and also, they also make reserve, reserve wines. And um, we're gonna see if it pairs well with this. The, to the tasting notes are honeysuckle, lemon, lots of lemon zest, medium body vanilla, beautiful, luscious, complex, it's amazing. Yeah. Wait. Uh, wait. <laughs> Can I have a piece? Can I have a piece? Bye. Seen this. They put this in front of me. Okay, it's from the Taste it. I said, eat with the fork, taste it. Bon appetit, everyone! <laughs> bon appetit, Elijah! <laughs> How is it, Elijah? Good. How is it, Alicia? Yummy. Yummy. What about you, Julian? How is it? Yummy. Good, huh, guys? Yummy for my tummy? How many thumbs up, Elijah? Two thumbs up. <laughs> he put his foot three times. <laughs> 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 <laughs>